despite continued financial stress on the government expenditure due to shortfall in the resources primarily because of covid-19 this bears testament to our commitment to employees economy covid-19 pandemic had a deleterious fiscal impact while revenues were constrained on the hand the expenditure had to be stepped up for covid-19 mitigation measures protection of livelihood and ensuring the development did not get deleted on the other after the subsidy growth reached last year the state economy is projected to bounce back to pre covid levels the advance estimates of state economy for the 2022 show the overall growth at 16.82 percent at current prices the per capita income has moved up to 2,478 from the previous 1,76,707 last year with a high impressive growth rate of 15.87 percent local global making navaratnalu with std and localization amid the persisting threat of the pandemic our steadfast commitment to extending support to welfare of the farmers women children and privileged marginalized and vulnerable groups continue our focus remains on the high standards for education health agriculture women empowerment and inclusive governance the elaborate inclusive model of governance we have adopted on the navaratna rule to improve the lives of our citizens is improving holistic and merits replication by other states we have implicitly adopted the uns sustainable development goal broad agenda of leave no one behind under the navaratna rule framework wherein all the sdgs have been mapped into the state of the scheme that are implemented on a certain basis through localization of sdgs my government is ensuring that human 